it has to motivate you because it motivates me to hear the crowds screaming snoop when when 24 hits the field just tell us about that feeling please uh like i've been saying before right when they scream they give me energy excite me i know the fan they showing me love so that's a big thing to me so i love it jerry said the other day that the three of you all haven't played your best game at the same time yet he said he thought it was coming your thoughts on that how how close have you all came to playing your best game at the same time and if that were to happen what what do you think that would look like uh honestly we haven't yet played our best game with the whole group uh we still like somebody have a good game and the other won't have a good game so we still working on that right now like when we do have all three of have a good game it's gonna be hard to stop us so we still working Snoop, I think you've carried the ball 15 and 14 times the last two games. I'm just curious, from a from a, a fatigue level, energy level, how many carries a game do you think you would have in you? Uh, I got about 15, 20 in me. I know Saturday I was getting tired fast. So, <laughs> yeah, about 15, 20. Thank you. When you look at the sideline or you're in the huddle and you see the guys like Braylon, Mingo aren't out there. What do you guys as running backs kind of change about your perspective or your outlook knowing that the receivers probably can't carry you as much as they did at the beginning of the year? Uh, it's just more opportunity for the running backs. We got to just – we stay prepared through the week so we know what type, what type of game plan we'll have. So we just got to be ready. Were you all extra motivated coming into this one knowing that the running backs kind of had to carry it even with Matt banged up? Uh, actually, uh, they said it was going to be a throwing game plan, so it's changed in the game. So – the running backs came out. We did our thing. You are going to Auburn on Saturday with a lot on the line. I think that's fair to say. What do you remember when y'all went over there in 2019? What do you remember about that game? Uh, my freshman year, well, my first time playing at Auburn. Uh, we played good. We had left some stuff on the field, though. Could have did better. Uh, I know we lost by, I think, a touchdown. So we just got to go in there and play right because we're on the road. We really haven't played well on the road yet. So just go in there and just leave it all out there. Do you remember anything? I know it was loud that night, came down to the final drive. Do you remember anything about how difficult it is to play there, the atmosphere? It was definitely loud. I ain't going to say it was difficult to play there. You just got out there and play your game, but it was definitely loud. A couple weeks ago, Lane came in here and, and told us that someone had put a, a sign on his office that said Snoop. Did you know about that? Kind of trying to, I think it's someone trying to get you the ball a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, I had, I knew about it. Well, until I went in his office and seen it. But when I was actually finna come here for an interview, I had seen it. So that was on time. I ain't know about it, but I knew about it. So yeah. 